Hello, this is the Cassette Master here at the workbench. <laughs> Hello, this is Ricky Klein, the Cassette Master. Here again at my workbench. In this video, we're going to investigate the Heiko 470 desoldering station, which on it has a Heiko 802 desoldering gun. I have not tested this unit yet. The problem is, is that it was not packed well during shipping. You see, I got this off of eBay and it wasn't packed very well at all and, well, it suffered some damage during shipping, upsettingly enough. And so I'm just going to take a look on the inside and make sure everything is well inside, make sure nothing's messed up inside before I turn it on, and try to glue the cracks. So come with me for this ride. With your host, John Richard Klein, the cassette master. So here's the desoldering station up close. See this deal on the side here. They spelled Hacko wrong or Hicko wrong. But, um, anyway, there's the gun. Complete. And, um,. The vacuum port and an iron port. I don't know. There. There's two filters. There was one filter inside the iron, there's another filter right at the vacuum port. Glad I looked at that, am I right? Iron port. Iron runs on 24 volts DC, not 120 volts AC, interestingly enough. Actually, it's 24 volts. I don't know if it's DC or AC. Looks like a form of DIN connector for the iron. Okay, so the unit is isolated now. We can see we have a crack right here, a crack right there, a slight crack right here. You notice that this is kind of crooked like that. The two halves are not lining up nicely. Not good. And then there's a crack right here, cheap bloody whiz. And the you know, crack extends downward there. Then there's a crack right here. Gee freaking whiz. I wish they'd pack this thing better. Oh, that's completely broke off. Yeah, I'm not happy with how they packed this thing. Because they could have packed it better. They could have put it in a bigger box, put more packing material around it, but they put it in not big enough box. Top and bottom of it were pretty much touching the top and bottom of the freaking box. And, it, it, yeah. I have the unit open, and now I can see why the thing was flexed the way it was. See this support piece? It's all bent up. And this is, of course, can be an added lesson why things should be packed well before shipping them, for Pete's sake. Anyway, it was very neat to see the inside of this Heiko. You can see the main transformer, filter capacitor, 
and the most neat component of them all, the vacuum pump. You got a small AC motor coupled to the actual air pump. Vacuum pump. You also have a little solenoid valve, it looks like. And, of course, the control circuitry. Very nice to see the innards of this Heiko. Very nice indeed. I got it back together and I know it ain't perfect. Like this part here is too hard to glue. I, holding it, you know, it requires a lot of force to hold the two pieces together and well, I can't I can't get the glue to set on that one, but at least that back piece back here, ugh, freak. I got glued. So time to give it a first test. Okay, I guess the switch contact was bad. Vacuum pump works. Yeah, the iron, I can smell it already heating up, so I don't want to touch the end to see if I feel suction. Just saying. I'm going to go wet the sponge. The iron is definitely heated up. Let's see if we can desolder or anything. But I didn't feel anything. So, the suction problem. I could feel suction here. So, I took this off and I took the little filter out. And you can see this is stopped up with solder. So I think that's why it doesn't have any suction from the iron itself from the tip. So I took this apart. Here's this part. Put all that solder. Do you whiz? It's a lot of solder in there. Yeah, and there's still a lot of solder in here. Take this spring thing and I do that. Look at all that solder in there. Well, this has definitely seen a lot of use in its past, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, wow. It's a lot of solder. Incredible amounts of solder. It's incredible. There we go. Clean now. Put this assembly back together. So we got this tube. Shows the spring. Goes in here. On here. So that's that part. And then this and then the filter like that on the iron like that that clashes the place. Now 
we'll see if we can desolder anything. Of course, we see if we can melt the solder first. Is it hot enough to melt the solder? Go opened because the suction finally just completely went away. No suction at all. And I can see so it's this valve plate here that's both these little pieces that go inside like that. I'm broken off. And I haven't looked at the valve plate on the other side yet, but I suspect that it's also damaged as well. Do I want to take this off? Locking it all with my hand. This clip is useless. There we go. There's a diaphragm which would remind one of a speaker. We operate this vacuum pump. You can see the way that works. And it vibrates on both sides. So at the top is basically what we call the station. So it says Fox, that's just a tag for me, uh, ESC underscore WS. Uh, not really sure what that is, uh, but it tells us a, a whole bunch of information, right? So for example... And then we see the, this metal plate here, the valve plate is underneath here. Give it a particular license. I want to look Not only are those holes look kind of plugged up, you can see this valve plate also, one of its pieces is broken off too. It's amazing we were getting any suction at all, ever from this thing. Clearly, that's the problem with the HACO. So I'm going to order a couple of valve plates off of eBay, and once they come in the mail, I should be able to put this back together of course I'm going to clean this stuff too and then I should have a it should it should work after that well I ordered the parts on eBay and now I have to wait for the delivery here are the old valve plates one of them still has one of its pieces intact where the other is broken the other valve, aids, uh, valve plate both are broken you can even see the broken piece. You see how it has a little nub sticking at the top. That's not supposed to be there. That's all just junk. That's how dirty it was inside that thing. Hey viewers, it's me, the Cassette Master, again. I got the uh, valve plates from Heiko. So, more Heiko valve plates will be able to fix the uh, suction pump, the vacuum pump in the Heiko 470. Now, this really, yeah, like this. There we go. Valve plate is in place, and then 
in there for the area where it screws are, is machined so it should go in the just the right position once it's screwed in. So I got the valve plate inside. It's together on piece now. Already I can feel there's a lot of suction when I do this. Well, viewers, the Heiko is now back together. Let's go ahead and fire it up. Put some more solder on these connections because I don't have separate flux. So you can see here where I've desoldered the uh, solder on that chip. We're going to see if we can remove that chip. Look at that integrated circuit hex inverter. Look at that. Unsoldered like a boss. Back to these bigger connections and see if I get anything out of this here. It's a lot of solder there. Having a hard time even getting enough opening to allow air to even flow through. Oh, I took the pad off. Yeah, I think we need a bigger nozzle because it's such a tight grip around these fat pins but it's not allowing any air to actually flow through the, the uh, vacuum. Since I don't have extra flux on hand, I'm just going to uh, pre-apply some fresh solder to each connection. Okay. Let's see if we can remove the actual IC from the board. So now we'll try to take the ROM chip out. Oh, that is so satisfying. Oh my freaking gosh, look at that. We just took out the chip. We just took the ROM out. Get rid of the excess here. Good night! It finally happened. It was, only a, it was only a moment waiting. Destined to happen at some point. Get rid of some of the excess there. Okay. Fantastic. There we go. 